G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now today we're going to take a look at uh, Microsoft Search bookmarks and what we can potentially use these for, what value these add to your users and your search experience as well. So if we think about, if we remember to uh, back to promoted results, bookmarks can be thought of as the modern way to create these promoted results. So they're displayed across SharePoint, across Office.com, across Bing, uh, if the query matches any of the keywords that are set up in our bookmarking um, functionality inside of M365. So there's a few practical examples that we can think of when we're talking and thinking about bookmarks. So what about when users are looking for a particular application or if it's a how to apply for leave or those type of things that people generally search for? we can actually create an experience and create some bookmarks for them that appear right at the top of a Microsoft search that then directs them to the right location. So let's have a look at how we go about configuring these and where they actually surface and show up. So we can see here, this is the end result. So I have searched in the search bar across the top here called Office, um, for a search term called Office 365 Help. Now you can see this section right at the top, prime real estate, right? So being able to insert and add our um, the correct link or the correct uh, information in this location is going to create a really nice experience for users because they're gonna be directed to the appropriate location. Now you can see here that I've got a title, I've got the link and I've got a description here as well. Um, so that is something that is very, um, is going to be very user friendly so let's have a look at where we go about setting this type of thing up. So if I jump into the Microsoft 365 Admin Center here, now I'm in the search and intelligence component or the blade of the Admin Center. Now to access that, we're on the left hand side here. If we go to view all admin centers, this option here, search and intelligence, okay? Under the Answers tab, we can see that we've got this option here called Bookmarks. Now it comes pre-populated with a number of out-of-the-box Microsoft bookmarks here, and you can see the URLs that these are directed to. So as an example, if I look for SharePoint, all right, so let's jump back into here. I'll type in SharePoint, hit Enter, and you can see that I've got a bookmark here that appears right at the top in this card and pointing to this particular URL. Now, what about if we want to, or if we've got a process on how to apply for leave? It would be really good is if when somebody types in how to apply for leave up here, that we can then direct them directly to our page that we've created all about how to apply for leave. So let's create this page first, and then we're going to point to that location. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna jump into SharePoint. I'll open this in a new tab. We'll jump onto a, our intranet site and we'll create a page. It'll just be a blank page for now. And then we will um, point to that as our, uh, as our option. So let's go to, let's just go to Contoso Learning here. So let's create a page, a new page. We'll start um, basic text and we'll create this page, all right? So let's go create page and we'll give this a title called um, how to apply for leave, all right? And this, for argument's sake, has got all of our information that we need users to understand and the process to follow to how to apply for leave. So let's publish this. We'll grab the URL. So we'll leave this open here and there's our URL. Now, if I jump back into the bookmark section here, we can add a bookmark. You can see we've got the sample. It's gonna dynamically show us what this is going to look like. So here is our title, all right? So let's enter the title for this bookmark. So let's go how to um, apply for leave as the title, you can see that that's going to be appear here. Now the URL, we're gonna grab the URL, and because it's a URL, it doesn't have to be internal. It can be to any external type of resource or anything that's got a URL, all right? So I'm gonna paste in our how to apply for leave page. We can give this also a description. Um, and let's go, please follow this process um, to apply for leave. This will um, be directed to your manager manager for approval. 
All right, so there's a little description that we've got along with the title and the URL. Now we can see here that now we've got the option here to add our keywords. So enter the search term commonly used to find this page. So let's go uh, how to apply for leave. Apply for leave, we'll add that. What about another one called holiday? And maybe I'll go leave process as well. So they're the three terms that when somebody searches, this bookmark is going to appear for, all right? Now we can also add some reserved keywords here. So as you can see with this information panel here, reserved keywords have to be unique. And if a reserved keyword is matched, it's going to override all other keywords. So if you wanna make sure that this shows up for a particular keyword, make that a reserved keyword. All right, so we can add those into there if we want to. We can also then add different categories if we want to add some categories uh, to organize our, our bookmarks as well. Now, where things become really interesting with these is that we can have, or there's some additional settings or more advanced settings with our bookmarks. You can see that we can choose a start and end date for our bookmarks. So there might be something that we want to promote throughout a, a certain period of time, or we might want to make this always available. Because because in our example, um, this is a, an evergreen piece of content. It's something that needs to be available all the time. We're going to leave it to always available. Now, if we are in different countries or regions, the uh, application to apply for leave might be different in different regions or different countries. So we could also then choose different bookmarks or different um, uh, links to show to different countries or regions, all right? Really, really powerful. Remembering we wanna try and deliver the right content to the right people at the right time. This is a perfect example of how we could achieve that. We can also target this at certain specific groups in our environment as well. So we could um, only make Make this available for specific security groups. So if it's a, a, a different process for executives as opposed to finance teams or whatever your Active Directory security group structure is, we can also target these at those, those particular groups. This is a pretty simple organization, this one, so we're just going to leave it open to everybody. We can even narrow this down to devices, so specific devices and operating systems targeted variations as well. So you can target different uh, bookmark content to different users based on the devices and the locations as well. And something that is extremely interesting is that we can use also add bookmarks to our Power App. So if you enter or to a Power App. So if you've got a Power App and, uh, for the leave process in this example, we could add the app ID for that Power App and then we could also use that there too. So I'm gonna leave everything as is, all right? So we'll go keep it fairly generic and then we will publish this um, bookmark. Now, it's gonna take a little bit of time for us for that to become available. So we can see that we've got all of these other bookmarks here um, that we've got, and now we've also got how to apply for leave, uh, and that's been added. So let's just wait for a little bit, and then we will do a search, and let's have a look at what that looks like. All right, so we've waited about 10 minutes now and everything is up and running. Let's have a look at what the experience is like and where this actually shows, all right? So remembering back to what the terms were or the keywords were that we use. So whenever somebody searches for how to apply for leave, holiday or leave process, we wanna show this bookmark and direct them to the right location. So let's have a look in, we're on the Microsoft 365 start page here. Let's go for how to apply for leave, all right? So we're typing in this search term, we'll hit enter. Now we can see here that we've got this little panel here of our bookmark. We've got our title, we've got our link, and if I click the link, it's going to take us directly to that page we've just created for our leave process, all right? Let's have a look at the other terms, all right? So also we added a term for holiday. So let's search for holiday, we'll hit enter, and again, we've got our uh, bookmark that has been added. The other term that we used is leave process. So let's just jump back, we'll refresh the page, we'll clear our search results, um, and then let's go for leave process. All right, so we'll enter in leave process, and you can see there, we've got our bookmark front and center at the top of our search results. 
uh, for a user to be able to then navigate to the correct location. So bookmarks in Microsoft 365 Search really do provide uh, a really nice experience and make sure that users are able to be directed to the, the right information at the right time. And we've seen in the advanced section as well, the ability to target different countries and regions, security groups, so we can really tailor what bookmarks, if we need to, show up for different groups of people or different segments across your organization. So if you're not using bookmarks in Microsoft 365 Search, go check them out, create some bookmarks um, to some important information, uh, and then you will uh, help your users find that correct information. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.